Brazen repeat burglars are on the loose in the small town of Woodland. It's infuriating, really. I mean, we're all trying to bring the town up and create a, a, a great downtown atmosphere. But those business owners say thieves are rising up as fast as the town. The merchants now coming together to try to stop a string of burglaries hitting their shops. CBS 13's Lamar Abrams is in downtown Woodland with the creative way they're getting in. This here is one of the spots they hit Morgan's on Main. Thieves found their way into the kitchen through a very small opening right up there. So there's a, a roof access there that drops down into the kitchen. His kitchen raided by roof thieves. Executive chef John Gamboni says thieves scaled that wall in the back to access the restaurant's roof, likely targeting the metal box covering the building's air conditioning unit where they cut a hole and jumped down heading straight for the expensive stuff. Electronics, uh, iPads, iPhones, um, handful of lobster tails. Lobster tails? Lobster tails, so good taste. And a big appetite. He says the thieves made off with enough lobster tails to feed a beast, but apparently they weren't satisfied. I mean, it's it's been one thing after another. It's very demoralizing. City Councilman Tom Stallard owns two buildings on Maine where businesses are the targets, he says. In a matter of weeks, thieves broke into eight of them, including a paint shop and hair salon, where again, they got in through the roof. And they, they climbed down in and stomped out all of the uh, air handling duck work. Stallard is now teaming up with Woodland Police and business owners to install better surveillance and 24-hour lighting. But back on Maine, patrons say the brazen burglary spree won't stop them from visiting their quaint downtown. Woodland's a good town. We come down here quite a bit. John says lobsters off the menu for now, and he remains on guard. Seems like the population of whatever criminals would have you are, are coming up as fast as the level of the town is. As for the investigation, police are still looking for leads. Anyone with information is urged to call Woodland Police. For more